Hey Tech Explorers, and welcome back to Mobile Service Center. Today we're tackling a common issue for many Verizon users, accessing your Verizon email through AOL. Yep, you heard that right. If you're rocking a Overizon Net email address, you'll need to configure it with AOL settings. But don't worry, it's easier than you think. And before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss our latest tech guides and tutorials. All right, let's get your Verizon email working seamlessly. Here's the lowdown. Verizon migrated its email services to AOL. This means your Overizon.net email is now handled by AOL's servers. So, to access your emails in other email apps like Outlook, Apple Mail, or on your Android device, you'll need these AOL settings. Incoming mail server, IMAP. Server name, imap.aol.com. Port, 993. Security. SSL TLS. Outgoing mail server, SMTP. Server name, smtp.aol.com. Port, 587. Security startles, or TLS if startles isn't available. Important note. Username, your full averizon.net email address. Password, your Verizon email password, the one you use to log into AOL Mail. Let's see this in action. Demonstrate setting up an email account in Outlook or a mobile mail app using these settings. As you can see, it's just a matter of entering the correct server information, your username, and password. Once you've got everything in place, your Verizon email will be up and running in no time. Troubleshooting tips. Double check your password. It's easy to mistype, so make sure your password is entered correctly. Verify server settings. Refer to AOL's official help pages if you're unsure about any settings. Tab Megons. Contact Verizon Support. If you're still having trouble, Verizon's customer support team can help you troubleshoot. And that's it. You're now a pro at configuring your Verizon email with AOL settings. If you found this helpful, Give us a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might be struggling with their Verizon email. And of course, subscribe to Mobile Service Center for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.